Welcome to day two of the 13th annual Brunswick Holiday Classic. It's brought to you by Coastline Express Car Wash in Shalotes. Uh, game one of four for you here today, and uh, one of the uh, picks, one of the top picks that I had on my radar when we first started putting things together for, for the tournament. It's the Caldwell Cobras at 8-1 and one, and the Harkham Bears at 13-2. and two. Hi again, everybody. Chris Shima, glad to be with you. For Caldwell, uh, a big lead evaporated Friday against East Georgia State, but the Cobras hang on. They win 75-72. And then Harkham rallied but came up a bit short against Brunswick yesterday. After trailing by as many as 22, Harkham lost 77-75. Bears had 22 turnovers in that game. They shot 46%, but they were 6 of 25 from 3. Same starters for Jamison McIver. It's number 0, Sincere Scott for the Cobras. Number 3, Saquone Harris. Number 4, Pharrell Boyagino. Number 5 is Brandon Morgan. Number 22, Terrence Johnson. And for Harkham and John Ball, it's number 2, Zion Lott. Number 5, Nick Jones. Number 13, Corey Lavelle. Number 22, Ebenezer Ogo. And number thir uh, 23, Adamar Santos. So that's the starters for both of these teams as we are uh, just about ready to rock and roll here. As always, we thank you for joining us. Thanks for hanging out. Day number two and the start of another long one. Uh, those of you who weren't around with us last night, we've had some schedule changes before we tip off today. Let's talk briefly about that because of the weather that uh, is expected for uh, Sunday. We've moved everything up. So Harkham fans, set your alarm clocks. It's going to be a brunch uh, tip-off, 10 a.m. against Cape Fear tomorrow. And then Caldwell is going to play at noon. So keep those uh, in mind, and we'll be reminding you throughout the day as well. Just about ready to go. Harkham in the black and, or excuse me, Harkham in the white, Caldwell in the black. Big game for Nick Jones yesterday for Harkham. He had 22. Campbell and Santos with 13 apiece. And Sincere Scott with 25 for the Cobras yesterday. Harris had 12. Boy, uh, Boy Aguino also had 12 points. Brandon Morgan with 11. So tip is controlled by the Cobras, and we're underway here in day number two of this 13th annual Holiday Classic. Boy, it's hard to believe what's coming tomorrow. I was at the beach this morning. It is gorgeous in eastern North Carolina today as Scott misses the first jumper of the game. I mean, beautiful day at the beach. Just a nice breeze at 65 degrees. You can't ask for better weather. That is going to change tonight. A steal by Morgan. Morgan coasts to the hoop and scores. Brandon Morgan had 11 yesterday. He's on the board here today. Trapping pressure now. Harkham breaks it. This is Lavelle attacking. Lavelle to the hoop. Came up short. And a nice save there on the rebound by Boy Aguino. And then a throw away as Harris pass went long. Uh, rebounding a bit of a problem spot for Caldwell yesterday. Gave up a lot of second chance opportunities to East Georgia. Getting on the defensive glass against Harkham going to be paramount. These are two of the top ten free throw shooting teams. We saw teams get to the line quite a bit in all three games yesterday. And uh, for Harkham, their top ten in attempts at 27.2. Caldwell came into the weekend number one in attempts at 33.4. That's a lot of free throws. Santos in rhythm, missed it back iron, rebound controlled by Johnson, but he went to the ground, so traveling, and uh, Harkham will retain possession. Santos to inbound. Jones attacks, hangs, touched all the rim, Scott has the rebound. Throws a home run ball to Harris. Harris, that's going to be a goal tip. So Harris is on the board. A 
Watt with the bounce pass and another steal already, two steals. Harris has to back it up. Morgan, Scott out deep. Harris crossing over on Lavelle, swings it out open, look in the corner for Johnson for three. And that's going off, oh, they say it's off Morgan. It looked like Santos touched that one last. Morgan can't believe it. Official was right there though. So here is, he was right there, he got it wrong. Another steal, Scott, third steal for Caldwell. And sincere Scott buries a triple. Timeout, Harkham, 7-0 for the Cobras as we go away. Thirteenth annual holiday classic here at Brunswick Community College, brought to you by Coastline Express Car Wash and uh, Sloppy Start. The press, the trap is working for Caldwell. Here's Sincere Scott, and as he buries the three just before the timeout, Coach Ball not happy with his team start brings in Andre Campbell, who brings it into the forecourt. I bet. Peggy in Bradenton's probably not happy either. Coach's son, uh, coach's uh, mom is out there watching the broadcast. Shout out to you. Hope you're doing well. I heard Peggy had surgery. She couldn't be here. She's laid up in Florida. Well, let us know what that rain's like, Peggy. I think you guys are getting it before us. They said we might get 10 inches of rain tomorrow. So Harkham comes up empty again. Both teams in a trap. Scott, another three, not that time. Rebound by Santos. Bears into the forecourt. We do, I, I didn't talk about this yesterday. We have a live chat. You do have to subscribe to the Dolphins YouTube channel and then wait five minutes. It's a precautionary thing to weed out spam. Fourth steal for Caldwell. Harris had to save it, but he was out of control and couldn't quite keep himself together. But if you want to interact with the broadcast, you can use the live chat. Please don't make me regret it. One idiot and the chat is gone, believe me. So offensive foul, first foul of the game, two and a half minutes in. Lavelle, Campbell, fakes the pass, now gets it to Santos in the forecourt. Arkham will play fast. They have no problem playing fast if they can break the press. Santos, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. And then we have a first foul back in transition on Harkham. Boy, the Cobras, Jamison McIver, very animated over there. Uh, Sincere Scott, 77% free throw shooter, is at the line. Fouls on uh, Lavelle. Mentioned yesterday, uh, Corey Lavelle's family. That's five points, by the way, for Scott already. He had 25 yesterday, but Corey Lavelle's family from New Zealand is here. His parents in the building. Hopefully they enjoyed this beautiful beach weather this morning like I did. Scott, alley-oop, throw down no good by Johnson. Santos up and down we go. Numbers for Harkham, Santos keeps it and he draws contact. Second team foul on Caldwell and Adamar Santos going to the free throw line. 15.3 points per ball game coming into the weekend. Santos about five rebounds a game as well. He's 49% from three. He's 74% from the free throw line, and I mentioned it yesterday. In terms of free throw attempts and makes, he is top 20 in the NJCAA. 
top 40 in three-point shooting. So one out of two at the line. Corey Lavelle goes out and Musabini Adamu is in the game. Harkum gets a steal now. We've seen four for Caldwell. Morgan, or excuse me, Jones got it to Santos and then Santos traveled with it. Six point lead for, Hark, uh, for Caldwell. Caldwell, Cobra scored the first seven points in this game. Scott, that was deflected, so he can go into the backcourt. Morgan out deep. Jamison McIver calling out a play from the bench. Johnson now with the shot clock at eight. Morgan attacks. Morgan draws contact as Harkham picks up its second foul. Four minutes in. About a foul a minute, that's what we've seen here in this tournament, and it's Brandon Morgan at the line. Free throw shooting was a problem yesterday for Caldwell, but Brandon Morgan came in as a good free throw shooter, 84%. Both of these teams can score and score a lot. Caldwell is seventh in the country at 99.6 points per ball game. Harkham is 10th at 95.9 points per game coming into play. Now both teams were in the 70s yesterday, so those numbers are a bit skewed, but really good offensive teams on display here today. We're talking John Ball and Jamison McIver, and I briefly spoke after yesterday's games Apparently that 126-120 loss against Indian River State by Caldwell earlier in the year, that was a regulation game. They put up 246 combined points as Harris banks it in. Harris, second field goal, so he's got four. Morgan has four. Five for Sincere Scott. Lot for three, too strong. Rebound by Harris. 10-point lead for Caldwell. Caldwell was up double figures a few different times yesterday against East Georgia State. Scott feeling good. He's had a good weekend, and he stays hot. Sincere Scott's got eight points already. He had 25 yesterday. Campbell across midcourt with it. Campbell attacks and scores. Good aggressive offense by Andre Campbell. 13 off the bench for John Ball yesterday. He's got his first two here today. And uh, the score is wrong. I'm pretty sure the score is wrong. Should be 17 to six. Harkham getting a stop. Now here is Jones, offensive foul going to be called. So the Cobras interior defense taking the charge. And there you go, there's the updated correct score now on your screen. Trevor Smalls, two points off the bench yesterday for the Cobras checking in. Number 10 is Torrance Horton in black. Number 21, Jacob Nixon in black. Brandon Morgan stays out there. Boy, Gino also stays into the game, or also stays in. And then uh, some changes as well for Harkham. It's Olsi Kurtage, number three in white. As the three is an air ball, Kurtaj has the rebound. Campbell still in, Lot out there. Down low, it's DeAntoine Randall, who's in the game, scoring his first two, and Adamu remains in the game. Zone for Harkham. Smalls cut off. The cutter is Horton, had trouble with the pass. It's deflected 
possession changed about 10 times there. <laughs> Maybe an exaggeration. Boy, Gino can't get the jumper to go, and Adamu wraps up a hectic possession for Caldwell. Campbell gets a screen, top of the key, hesitates, attacks, missed it short. Throw ahead goes to Nixon. Nixon blocked but foul by Lott. That's four team fouls on Harkham. Jacob Nixon is a 60% free throw shooter. And he's going to have a couple when we come back. 13.03 left to go here in the opening half here in Day two, game one of this 13th annual Brunswick Holiday Classic. We'll be back. Welcome back. Uh, thanks to our sponsor, Coastline Express. Chris Scheman, glad to be back with you. It's uh, Jacob Nix at the free throw line for Caldwell. And he misses the uh, first one. So again, early start tomorrow. Caldwell will play Chattanooga State at noon. Harkham and Cape Fear at 10 a.m. God help us for that game. Rebound controlled by Lott. So both free throws miss. Campbell goes behind the back. Cut off in the lane. Up top, Kurtage for three. No good. And the rebound by Horton. Horton attacking. Goes behind the back. Takes it right side. Now he'll get it top of the key. Smalls with the ball fake. And then he throws it right to Randall for Harkham. Here's Kurtage. Kurtage poked from behind. And they call a reach on Morgan. <laughs> Sincere Scott is keeping <laughs> Jamison McIver <laughs> back. <laughs> I think somebody might have gotten teed up. I don't know. Boy, Jamison McIver. Yeah, they did call a technical. I think on the bench overall, it could be on the coach. No, they called it on Coach McIver. I don't think I'd last in any one of these games to be fair to Coach McIver. I'd, I'd be tossed every time. It's just the officiating's been terrible, just terrible. But ball don't lie. Jamison McIver was right. Both free throws were missed. And by the Rashid Wall, uh, Wallace logic of basketball, we take away that technical foul at the broadcast booth. <laughs> Randall gets the inbound. I like doing the remote games, but it's also nice to be in person because you can hear everything that people are saying. Campbell top of the key. Kurtage with the fake back to Campbell. Campbell also fakes, attacks, and scores. And Andre Campbell's got a couple of tough earned buckets. He's got four. Horton on the left wing. Smalls up top. Now Scott back in the game. 
Nobles has come in. Chris Nobles, two points yesterday. Here's a little runner by Horton, no good. Rebound controlled by Randall. One of the best rebounding teams in the nation, the Harkin Bears. They're fourth in defensive rebounding and sixth overall. Scott, step back three. Is he still hot? Off the bench, not that time. Ball deflected around, a scrum for it. They'll call a jump ball. Possession arrow's going to give it to Harkham. Caldwell, one of the best in the country as well. They're eighth in defensive rebounds at 32 and a half. And total rebounds are also eighth at 47.1. So battle of the board's going to be key today. Caldwell, at the start of the game, if you're just joining us, implemented this trapping press and had four steals right out of the gate. They led 7-0. Jones was in trouble. Gets it up top to Lott for three. No good. Rebound by Horton. Horton swings it to Nixon. Nixon with the fake. Now fires. Airballed. Well, he was determined to shoot that, but that was a terrible possession. Morgan got hit. A late whistle, but the correct call. Both teams with four team fouls with 11.05 left to go here in the first half. Randall inbounding. Jones turns on the Jets and count it and the foul for Nick Jones. Take a look at that one for Harkham. They've cut it down to five, and Nick Jones can make it four at the free throw line, but look at the hesitation there, and then just attacks and gets around his man. Now Jones at the line. Had a chance to tie the game against Brunswick, missed one out of the two free throws that would have tied it. Help Brunswick survive. Gets the free throw to go here as we go inside 11 to play in the first half. Scott Horton. Now Nobles from the elbow attacks, gets around his men. Chris Nobles, two points yesterday. He's on the board with his first bucket here today. Lead back out to six for Caldwell. Lot. Small's got him. Zion Lot had 10 yesterday. Came in averaging 13 and a half. They say uh, no shot. So foul is on the floor. Sergey. Javakovic is in the game. Obasogi also in. Obasogi going to travel with it. So Cyril Obasogi checks in. Santos back in. Jones still out there. Uh, let's see. Watts and Randall. That's the five. Harris comes in for Caldwell. Scott is out there with Horton. Uh, Javakovic and Nobles, who's got the little fadeaway shot there, couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Jones. Lot back to Jones in rhythm. Too strong. Another board for Horton. Leaves it left side for Harris. Harris had it poked away, and then Horton lost it. It's a breakaway for Jones. Slam dunk, Harkham. Nick Jones got five quick ones. And Harkham has cut the deficit down to four with 9.35 to play in the first half. Horton tries to answer quickly. Can't do it. Rebound Obasogi. 
Jones out to Lott. Lott throws it up short. Harris with the rebound. Home run ball to Nobles. What a play by Caldwell. Chris Nobles has doubled his total from yesterday. Now he's got four. Jones up top. Santos left wing. Santos a dribble and a three. No good. Rebound by Horton. Scott got tripped up. That is team foul number seven on Harkham. Take another look at this home run ball. First great defense by the Cobras. And then, yeah, a little, hey, the bowl games are starting today. Let's get into the football spirit with that pass. Corey Lavelle back in for uh, Harkham, as is Campbell. Javakovic was not expecting that pass. Fortunately for Caldwell, they keep possession here. Nobles backing down. Nobles got doubled up. Freeman had it swatted by Obasogi. Oh, what, what a dime there by Lott. Lott got it to Campbell. Campbell with six. Four-point game. Horton will back it out. Javakovic. Javakovic gets it back. Shot clock at five. Harris can't bank it. Obasogi with the rebound. Cyril Obasogi blocking a half per game. He's got one already here today. A couple rebounds as well. Santos, the reverse, and Santos is going to the free throw line. Both teams with six team fouls with 7.46 left to play here in the first half. Foul number 10, Horton's first. So Horton picks up his uh, first, and then Santos up to five points, chance to make it six here. And he's got six. It's a two-point game. Caldwell led by double figures early on. Harris tries a triple. Tipped rebound, saved by Harris. Nicely done, good hustle. Freeman into the game. James Freeman wearing number two in black and orange. Lavelle with a nice defensive play. Campbell attacks. Campbell, yes. That is the third athletic play at the rim for Campbell here today. We are tied at 21. Two high scoring teams, but we've seen some uh, decent defense on display. Freeman, pass tipped by Campbell. He comes to Morgan. Morgan fires and scores. Brandon Morgan has six. Santos trying to drive on Javakovic. Campbell, shot clock at six. Here's a three by lot off the back iron, Obasogi. Offensive rebound. Obasogi. Oh, it did everything but go down. I mean everything. Obasogi was robbed by the rim. Looked like one of those carnival shots. You know how the, the carnival games with the basketball and they make the hoop too small for the ball so you can't ever win the prize? That's what happened to Obasogi there. Javakovic. Harris, contested three, shot clock was winding down, so both defenses are picking up. Uh, we thought this would be a high scoring game, it has not been. 
Bears and Cobras playing a defensive battle. Why not? Campbell to the hoop. Throws up a wild shot. Boy, Aguino back in. Got the rebound. Now Morgan gets it out to Javakovic for three. So Javakovic buries it. And just like that, it's Caldwell by five again. Corey Lavelle driving in. Yeah, the defense took him to an awkward angle there. And uh, fortunately for Harkham, it was blocked out of bounds by Caldwell. We go to a timeout inside five minutes left to play here in the first half. Got a good one. Once again, Harkham and Caldwell doing some battling. All right, once again, folks, uh, early start for this one. Tomorrow, it's going to be Harkham and Cape Fear at 10 a.m. And then uh, Caldwell will take on Chat State at noon. And you see the rest of the schedule there because of the uh, storm that's coming our way. Chris Sheeman back here with you. 4.59 to play here in this first half. Arkham with 16 on the shot clock. Corey Lavelle, top of the key. Campbell's been attacking. He attacks again. Rejected. Boya Gino. Santos airballed it. Ooh, Scott fell down. Somehow kept the dribble. Corner three by Morgan, no good. Lavelle has the rebound. Campbell will walk it up. Lott, the fadeaway, yes. Zion Lott, 10 points yesterday. That's his first shot make here today. Sincere Scott's got eight points in the game. And his pass is uh, kicked. Brandon Morgan has six. A four for Saquon Harris, four for Chris Nobles, three for Sergey Javakovich. Uh, for Harkham, Andre Campbell with eight. Adamar Santos with six. Five for Nick Jones. Two for Zion Lott. Morgan to Harris. Now Scott fakes the handoff. Oh, what a pass by Scott to the back door cutter. It's Pharrell Boyagino with his first bucket, but what a dime that was. Campbell looking to attack, had it blocked, and then a late, late whistle on Harris. So free throws coming for Harkham. Look at this pass. Just, okay, I'm gonna fake this, and then I see my man, eyes wide open. 
Beautiful offense there by Caldwell. And meanwhile, Campbell at the line. He can become the first player in double figures if he can get this uh, next free throw. Ebenezer Ogo replaces Obasogi for Harkham. And Campbell is the first player in double figures in the game. He's now got 10, three-point game. Harris cut off in the corner by Kurtage, who's back in. Now he attacks. Kurtage staying with them. And then Morgan had it swatted. Caldwell keeping possession. The face-up J no good by Harris. Campbell into the forecourt. Kurtage. Ogo. Had it stripped by Scott. Another seal. Scott, look at the speed. No whistle there. Scott trying to sell the call. Does not get it. Watt contested jumper. No good. Tip for the rebound, and it's going to go against Corey Lavelle. So one and one on the other end for Caldwell. Oh, correction, that's just six team fouls on Harkham, so my bad. Chris Noble's back out there for Caldwell. Noble's Morgan, Harris, Boyagino, and Scott. Here's Noble's attacking. Got his man confused. That was a beautiful example of how to use your feet in the paint for Chris Nobles there. Campbell left alone, fires the three. Ball tipped to Lavelle, and he's got the bucket. Corey Lavelle's first field goal. And a three-point game again with 2.06 to play in the half. Here's Morgan and Harris. Harris now for three. Offensive rebound by Scott. Scott with the fake, attacks. Blocked but fouled by Ogo. Sincere Scott with eight points so far today. And he can join Harkham's Andre Campbell in double figures here for the half. Came into the weekend averaging 18.4 points per ball game, shooting 52% from the field, 48% from three. 3.4 rebounds, 3.8 assists, and 2.2 steals. I think the steal numbers are going to go up after this weekend. So he's... Still in single digits, getting one out of two. He's got nine. The lead is four for Caldwell. Campbell goes right side. Nobles tried to pick his pocket. And then Nobles, they say, touched it last. So Harkham will have 16 on the shot clock. Now we have an offensive foul on the inbound. Trying to see if we got that. Let's take a look at what happened here. <laughs> so that was not much. That was, a, that was not much there. <laughs> but Caldwell selling the contact. Harris, too strong off the glass. Ball deflected out to Campbell. Here come the Bears. Kurtage for three. Side ironed it, Morgan the board. Morgan scoops it full court. Harris will back it out. Morgan backs it out as we go inside a minute to play here in the opening half. 
Scott, oh boy, Aguino was cutting, but I don't think he was expecting the pass. So Scott and boy, Aguino uh, hooked up beautifully earlier in this half, but not that time. Here's Campbell into the front court. And he's called for the offensive foul as Scott takes the charge. 4.6 seconds is the difference between the game and shot clock as we wrap up this first half. Sergey uh, Javakovic coming in. Caldwell looks like they're going to run some clock here. Harris over to Morgan. Scott, well, I don't think he wanted to take it so early, but he was wide open. He had no choice. And Scott now has a dozen. Campbell goes quickly. Campbell scores. Campbell's got 12. And then it looks like Caldwell turns it over. Boy, what a wild last 10 seconds. I was looking down at my notes, and Caldwell turned it over. So they're going to get Santos. John Ball sends Santos down, a three-point shooter. Nobles is in for defensive purposes, replacing Javakovic. Oh, that's going to be a foul. Easy call as Adamu hits the deck. So free throws to come with 3.3 seconds here in the half. So, Adamu is a 45% free throw shooter. This will be a one and one. Uh, let me correct myself. That was 10 team fouls, so this is a double bonus. They'll bring in Javakovic now to try uh, maybe for a heave and a three ball at the buzzer. Missed them both. Clock has not started. Harris hoist. And that should do it for the half. The clock never started. Well, these last 10 seconds have been pure torture. <laughs> I, I think we're just going to do it all over again. That's really the only option here. Is, so we're going to just start over. Scott at the buzzer from half court. Can't get it to go, but Caldwell takes a 34 to 29 lead into the locker room here on day two. Game number one on day two of this 13th annual holiday classic. It's Caldwell 34, Harkham 29. We'll be back with the second half in 15 minutes.
All right, we're ready to go here in this second half. It's the Caldwell Cobras leading the Harkham Bears 34-29. Uh, to 29. Harkham had that 13-game win streak snapped yesterday and a two-point loss against Brunswick and trying to avoid back-to-back -back losses here to start this uh, 13th annual Brunswick Holiday Classic. They go back door. Ogo was ready for it, though. Nice defensive play by the Bears that time. Here is Jones into the forecourt. Leading scorer in the first half for Harkham was Andre Campbell, who had 12 points. Six for Santos. Uh, five for Nick Jones. Two for Zion Lotz. Let's see, two for Corey Lavelle. Two for DeAntoine Randall. Meanwhile, for Caldwell, Sincere Scott is still hot from yesterday when he scored 25 points. He's got 12 in the first half. Six for Brandon Morgan. Four for Harris. Uh, six for Chris Nobles as well. Two for Boyagino. And Sergei Javakovic uh, has three points. Shot no good by Jones in the lane, and then it's touched by Johnson last, so Harkham will get another crack at it here. Here is Santos for three. Rebound controlled by Scott. Bounce pass over to Morgan. Scott fakes the three now, he'll fire. That might have been blocked. I think Scott kind of faked himself out there. It's lot attacks and scores. Zion Lott second field goal. Uh, if you're just joining us, Caldwell had the fast start to that one, uh, to the first half. They let it seven nothing at one point. Caldwell had four steals off the uh, trapping pressure very quickly. Arkham recovered after going down by as many as 10. And we got ourselves a ball game. It's a lower scoring than we had anticipated, but well played. Three no good by Lott. Scott throws it ahead. Harris chases it down, lays it up in it. So Harris up to eight points. Lead is seven for Caldwell. Jones had it poked away, got it back. Santos extra pass. Here is Lavelle for three. Corey Lavelle up to five points here this afternoon. Oh, Scott, nice pass. Boy, again, the uh, back door was wide open for Farrell, who slam dunked it. Six point game. Santos doubled on the baseline. Oh, a little tip pass by Morgan there, or excuse me, by Jones, and it's taken away. Scott gets it down to Morgan, who lays it up and in. So Brandon Morgan's got eight. A lot into the forecourt. Santos. Attacking, hanging, had it blocked, tried to get it back. Numbers for Caldwell again. Oh, trouble with the pass. Johnson recovered nicely as Terrence Johnson scores his first points. Timeout Harkham as Caldwell, like they started the first half, starts the second half strong, and it's a 10-point game again. We'll step aside as well, come back here in just a moment.
Thanks as always to our uh, friend Philip Goss and Coastline Express Car Wash in Shalote for sponsoring this whole tournament. Back to live action, it's a 10 point game as Harkham walks it into the front court. Jones to Watt, now Corey Lavelle top of the key being hounded by Johnson. Lavelle rockets it over to Ogo, who patiently waits for his opportunity and scores his first basket here today. Three points yesterday, he's got two here today. Scott thought about it and threw it away. Ogo throws it ahead to Jones, and his pass is volleyballed out of bounds. Twenty-five on the shot clock. Plenty of time here for Harkham as Corey Lavelle will inbound. Ogo gets it to Santos. Santos attacks, and it's deflected away. Scrum for it, and it's going to stay with Harkham with eleven to shoot. couple wet spots out on the court. Again, a reminder, uh, those of you, if you're just joining us, because of tomorrow's weather, some changes. Harkham at Cape Fear at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and then Caldwell plays at noon against Chat State. Cobras with yet another steal. Here's Scott swinging it out. Harris catch and shoot. Missed the three. Offensive rebound by Johnson, and he's going to the free throw line. Santos picks up his second. Terrence Johnson was scoreless yesterday. Two points here today, looking to add to that. Caldwell came in ninth in Division I, shooting 76% at the line as a team. That has not held fort here in this first uh, game and a half here in Brunswick. Pass was tipped, ooh, Johnson. A little awkward there. Tried to save it on the tip. Arkham with a quick shot, Corey Lavelle catches the air ball, then he has it swatted by Johnson. Starting to see the block party come out some more. Caldwell with 7.1 blocks per game, third best in the NJCAA. Harkham is second at 7.8, so we're starting to see the interior defenders for both teams, especially here in this one, pick it up a little bit. In the zone, Harkham right now. Driving and coming up short is Harris, and the whistle on Ogo. Mentioned the international flair for Harkham. Ogo picks up his third, he's from Canada. Wade's from Australia, Kurtage from Kosovo, Adamu from Ghana, Corey Lavelle, we talked about his families here, they're from New Zealand, Santos is from Sweden, and Obasogi is from Nigeria. Harris now with nine points here this afternoon. Obasogi comes back in. Good first half for Andre Campbell, 12 points off the bench. He's in as well for John Ball's team. So Harris has 10. Sincere Scott leads the team with 12. And the lead goes back to 10.
Campbell with Jones, Lavelle, Santos, and Obasogi. Jones is going back door. Ball was deflected by Caldwell. Caldwell says they never touched it. Uh, the official down low says it's staying with Harkham. And the officials are going to get together and talk about it here. And they discuss and correct the call. So it will be Caldwell basketball. I didn't think uh, the Cobras got a hand on it, but not at the right angle here. Harris hangs, can't score. Got his own miss. Swings it out. Boy, Aguino for three. No good. And away from the ball, we have an offensive foul called. I think it's going against Johnson. Be the first one on Caldwell, two on Harkham with 14.25 to go in the basketball game. Campbell into the front court. Campbell spinning. He was out of control. He got bailed out with the whistle. So Harris picks up his third. And they're going to give free throws to Campbell here? Okay. Campbell's 55% at the line coming into play this weekend. Jacob Nixon and Chris Nobles are in for Jamison McIver. And Kurtage in for John Ballstein. Uh, Randall also in for Harkham. So Campbell has 14, and it's an eight point game. Rashima, glad to be with you here, day two of three. I mentioned in the first half, absolutely gorgeous day today. You would have no indication of what's to happen tomorrow by the way things look today. I mean, it is picture perfect at the beach. Boyagino, bounce pass to Scott. Scott hangs, Scott attacks, Scott tries it again, swatted by Obasogi, and here comes Harkham, trying to cut further into this deficit. Pull up by Jones was no good. Nixon with the rebound, throws it right to Jones, who was waiting for him. And then Jones draws contact. Third team foul on Caldwell. 13.30 left to go here in the game. And we go to a timeout. Free throws out of this uh, timeout for Nick Jones, who's got five points today. Quiet by his standards. He had 22 yesterday against Brunswick. Harkham had 22 turnovers in that two-point loss yesterday.
Jones came in to play this weekend averaging close to 16 points per game. And he gets one out of two at the line. The lead is seven for uh, Caldwell. Make it 10 as Nixon buries the corner three. So Jacob Nixon got one yesterday in the victory over East Georgia. He's got one here this afternoon as well. Campbell has been attacking. He scores and the foul. How about the game for Andre Campbell? He's up to 16 points. Chance to make it 17 at the free throw line. Four team fouls for Caldwell. Mentioned both of these teams expert at getting to the free throw line. Caldwell is the best in the country in attempts and makes. 33.4 attempts, 25.3 makes. Harkham is 10th in attempts at 27.2, 14th in makes at 18.2. It's not a good team shooting wise from the free throw line though. Harkham is 110th as a team shooting 67% and that one's no good. Horton into the game, catches it right wing. So it's Horton, Nobles, Nixon, Boyagino and Morgan who fires the three, no good. Rebound controlled by Randall. Randall and Campbell for Harkham with uh, Nick Jones, Kurtage, and o uh, Obasogi. What a play there. Boy, Andre Campbell in his bag. He's got 18. Morgan right side, Boyagino back to Morgan, Harkham in his zone. Attacking is Morgan, yes and the foul. Brandon Morgan in double figures now with 10. Brandon Morgan, 84% from the free throw line this season, and it spins out. Randall the rebound. Campbell will try a deep one. They dare him to shoot it. Yeah, the way Campbell's been getting to the rim, I, I'm surprised. I, Campbell on the season, let's see, he's a 39% three-point shooter, so that is well in his bag of tricks. Just not that time, though. Horton couldn't get it to go in the paint. Jones bounce pass, the spin, the score by Randall. DeAntoine Randall has four. Morgan into the forecourt. Horton now Nixon for three. Off the back iron, tipped rebound comes to Randall. Campbell into the forecourt. That was a kick ball. It was a late whistle, but the correct call there. Sincere Scott back out there. He's got 12 today for Caldwell. really been the point guards today, Campbell and Scott. Nick Jones, what a play. What a maneuver just to get that shot off. I know it was a little bit short, but my goodness. Three no good by Horton. Offensive rebound, now Scott. Scott was blocked by Kurtage. Campbell... Campbell takes it left side, now he'll back it out. Kurtage corner three, yes. Olsi Kurtage first bucket in this uh, holiday classic. Nobles gets it out, Nixon not shy. Misses another, rebound controlled by Jones. 
Campbell walks it up for Harkham. Trailing again by just three at the midway point. Campbell will try another three and couldn't get that one. Boyagino throws it ahead to Scott. Scott stepped back, thought about the three. His pass deflected and intercepted by Jones. Jones slam dunk. Another athletic play by Nick Jones who had a highlight dunk yesterday against Brunswick. He's got another here today. Boyagino, cross court Scott for three. Yes. Well, he is silky smooth, 48% three point shooter. And the lead is back to four for Caldwell with 9.20 left to go in the game. We'll be back. Thirteenth annual Brunswick Holiday Classic is brought to you by Coastline Express Car Wash. Chris Scheman back here with you, showing you the updated schedule again. We made some changes for tomorrow, bright and early. It's Harkham and Cape Fear at 10 a.m. and then uh, Caldwell Chat State at noon. So those are the uh, two games of importance for y'all. 9-16 and counting in a two-possession game. Caldwell has led by as many as 10 a couple different times in this game, once in the second half. Kurtage for three, no good. Nobles gets the rebound out to Scott, who's got 15 in the game. Harris has 10, gets it back. Ball fake, three, no good. Rebound by Nobles. Nobles had it blocked by Obasogi, but they call a, a foul. Both teams with four team fouls. Chris Noble's 77% free throw shooter. That's the first one. He's got seven here today. Adamu comes in for Obasogi. And it looks like Harkham is going to call timeout. So another quick timeout. Give you time to memorize the new schedule. We'll be back.
Welcome back, everybody. As uh, Chris Noble's back at the line. Nobles now has eight points. Six point lead for Caldwell. Campbell splits two defenders, swings it out, catch and shoot by Lott, missed it, or correction, by Jones, who missed it short. Nobles got stripped, but they call a foul. It's going to be the fifth on Harkham. Chris Schumann back here with you. 13th annual Brunswick Holiday Classic, day number two. This is our first of four games. Next game is going to be Cape Fear and East Georgia. Then the uh, two Brunswick teams will play later on this evening. Nobles top of the key, left alone for three, in and out. And on the rebound, I think Santos is going to get whistled. It's going to be his third foul. Six team fouls on Harkham. Scott left alone. Off the back iron. Lot the rebound. Here comes Harkham. Jones, no look pass, trickles it out, then gets it back. Jones on the baseline, shot no good. Rebound by Harris off the tip. Harris flying into the forecourt, goes behind the back and scores. Harris has a dozen. Lead is eight for Caldwell. Ooh. Jones had it poked away, almost lost it out of bounds there. Harkham into the front court. Campbell swatted by Smalls. So Trevor Smalls into the game, brings it into the forecourt. Harris for three, and the rebound by Jones. Lott crosses over, draws contact. So Zion Lott, who's got four points here today, goes to the free throw line. That is team foul number five on Coldwell. Zion Lott, 63% free throw shooter this season. Olsi Kurtage is in for John Ball. Pharrell Boyagino coming in for Jamison McIver. Offensive rebound on the free throw by uh, Adamu. His turnaround is missed. Campbell collects. Third crack at it, then Campbell throws it away, and Scott is fouled on the breakaway. Nick Jones has three, that's seven team fouls on Harkham, so free throws for Sincere Scott. 77% free throw shooter. Adamu goes out of the game as Corey Lavelle comes back in. Corey's got five points here today. Got a line violation before the shot. So no free throw. The lead remains eight. Near side it's Lot. Lot crosses over. 
Kurtzage right wing. Campbell hangs, can't score. Offensive rebound by Lavelle, then he got tied up. The possession arrow favors the Cobras. Caldwell has led by as many as 10 a couple different times. Scott cross court to Morgan. Now Morgan drives in, it goes through the hands of Noble. It's a steal by Jones. Jones attacks and scores. Uh, Nick Jones in double figures, he's got 10. Scored 22 yesterday. Morgan on the near side against this Bears zone. Smalls attacks, gets it into the lane. Nobles had it deflected out of bounds with 5.41 left to go in the game. It'll be 13 to shoot for Caldwell as Santos comes in for Kurtage. Here's Scott for three. Ooh, they're gonna call that offensive goaltending. The ball was above the cylinder, that's why. So no basket for Pharrell there, boy, Aguino. Campbell in the front court. Santos left wing. Santos over three defenders, draws contact. Sixth team foul on, Har on uh, Caldwell, seven on Harkham. Santos with six points here today as Santos goes back to the line, 74% on the season from the charity strike. Santos from Sweden. Gets them both, he's got eight. It's a four point game. Harkham hanging around. Let's see if Caldwell can push the lead out again. I don't think Harkham has led in this game. Scott throws it up from three, no, and boy, Aguino loses it out of bounds. So Harkham getting stops here. Two teams top 10 in scoring in the NJCAA. Harkham 10th at 95.9 points. Caldwell 7th at 99.6. But it's been a defensive battle here today. As we go inside, five minutes to go in this one. That's really what it's going to come down to. Campbell gets it out. Corner pocket, lot no good. Ball punched out, chased down by Jones. Extra possession for Harkham. Mentioned these two good rebounding teams putting on a show today as Jones couldn't get the runner in the lane. And then a foul on the rebound by Lavelle, I think. So free throws at the other end for Caldwell and it looks like it's gonna be Chris Nobles. Nobles, who has eight points today, is a 77% free throw shooter on the season. So front end is good for Nobles, who's now got nine points. Ogo will come in for Harkham. Corey Lavelle checks out. Uh, 
Both are good, it's a six point game. Now Noble's in double figures with 10. Just a little man pressure here as Campbell brings it into the front court. Catch and shoot by Santos, always deadly off that time and a fight for the rebound. It's wrestled away by Ogo and then a foul called on Caldwell. So Ebenezer Ogo at the free throw line, 60% free throw shooter. This is a one and one now, both teams in the bonus over the final 419 of this one. Front end is no good, Boyagino has the rebound. Harkham flying into the forecourt. Here's Morgan in the corner, boy he had to use all of his uh, strength to stay in bounds there. Scott goes cross court. Morgan attacks, Hangs can't score, and it's out of bounds, last touched by Harkham. So extra chance opportunity for the Cobras. Scott, Harris from Morgan, Boyagino, bit quiet today, off on that jumper, Lott with the rebound, Harkham pushing, Lott down low to the big guy Ogo, waits, draws contact, can't score, but he's fouled, so Ebenezer Ogo will go to the free throw line. Ebenezer's got two points today. This is a two-shot foul. 60% at the line, as I mentioned. Randall back in for the Cobras, and Ogo gets them both. So he's got four. Four-point game again, answering right back. Scott off the back iron, offensive rebound by Harris. So Scott misses the runner, but another extra chance opportunity here for Caldwell. Morgan backs it out. Corner three with five on the shot clock. That's gonna be good for Harris. Harris has 15. And we have a timeout, 3.16 left to go in the contest. And Caldwell leads by seven. We'll be back. This 13th annual Brunswick Holiday Classic is brought to you by Coastline Express Car Wash. Chris Scheman back here with you. Harkham 
with the basketball. Possession starting to become more dire on the offensive end for the Bears. They get an open look here for Lott left alone. Zion Lott with seven points. Here's Harris. Nobles in the corner. Ball moves to Boyagino and he traveled with it. Harkham will not go away. We saw this yesterday against Brunswick. Corey Lavelle gonna come in for John Ball's team. This Harkham team came in with 13 straight wins entering the weekend. Caldwell came off that big victory over Sandhills. As Morgan miss, or excuse me, Jones misses but follows it. Nick Jones with a dozen. Morgan now. Caldwell breaks the press, attacking his Nobles, and he scores. Chris Nobles with 12. 65 61, 217 to go in the game. Jones hands off to Lott. Lott putting the moves on and buries another one. Zion Lott down the stretch. And just like that, he's got 10. One point game. Scott, ball moves to Harris in the corner, lost the handle, got it back, then deflected it back out. Attacking and scoring is Morgan. Morgan with 12. And this free throw is important with a minute 50 left to go. There's still tons of time, I know. But just for the sake of conversation, four point lead, you know, that's a two possession game. And he gets it to go. Brandon Morgan with the Baker's dozen. 68-64, Caldwell. Harkham has not led in this game. Lott starting to heat up, contested that time, no good. Nice defense by Morgan, but they can't get the rebound. And Corey Lavelle was wrapped up. So Corey Lavelle going to the line for two. Both teams with nine team fouls, so final 90 seconds, we could see some double bonus action. Corey Lavelle, five points today. He's a 65% free throw shooter on the season, and he misses the first. Gets one out of two, so six for Lavelle here today. Scott had it poked from behind. No, he lost it. He lost it, says the official. Sincere Scott was trying to sell contact. Take a look at this here. Kurtage is in. Campbell brings it into the forecourt for Harkham. It's a one possession game. Campbell spinning. Campbell using that athleticism that has done him well. He has 20 in the game. Full court trap is on. One point game. Here's Harris throwing front court to Nobles. Down low, Boyagino was open. The defense collapses and then a foul is called. That's gonna send Pharrell Boyagino to the free throw line. Kurtage picks up his first. As I mentioned, both teams either in the double bonus or nearing the double bonus. Boy, again, a good free throw shooter at 82%. He's got five points now here today. And again, it's good. Three point game. Inside a minute to go. Campbell attacking, swings it out, open look for Jones. No good on the three. Rebound by Scott. Clock's your friend right now if you're Caldwell. 
And Campbell fouling. Why? Why do you foul there? You have all the time in the world. Your defense has been great against one of the best offenses in the country. And instead, it's going to be a double bonus here, I believe. Yes, it will be a double bonus for Sincere Scott. Obviously, just one still makes it a two-possession game, but if you get two here, you're, that's what you need if you're Caldwell right now. We're going to get a timeout by Harkham. Well, they took forever. They made Sincere Scott wait at the free throw line. Part of officiating, you have to manage the game as well. They should not have waited that long to let Harkham call timeout. So we'll see if it has an impact when we come back. Welcome back, everybody. Game number one of four. Those of you who are looking for Cape Fear in East Georgia, uh, we're going to be behind once again. 46.9. We have yet another one possession game. How about every one of these games has been close? I think uh, Cape Fear and Chattanooga State was the only one that was really not in doubt, but... So Scott, who had to wait forever for these free throws, gets the first one to go because he's cold-blooded like that. He's got 16 now. So two-possession game. And the lead goes to five. Caldwell trying to go to nine and one. Mentioned their lone loss to the number 21 team in the country. Jones couple of pumps and scores in the lane. So Harkham going to have to play the foul game now if they can't get a steal. Remember against Brunswick, they forced all kinds of turnovers yesterday, Harkham. Boyagina will inbound. Randall's going to come in for Harkham as Santos goes out. Inbound goes to Harris. Harris is foul. Saquon Harris has 15 points here today. His first personal foul. Saquon Harris is allowed to shoot two shots. Still plenty of time, 32.8 seconds in eternity. So if you're Harkham, you don't need to think about the three quite yet. See if they don't have Campbell try to attack. And if you're Caldwell, just do not foul. Harris and the Cobras hitting these free throws down the stretch. Very important. Jones now into the forecourt. Jones, and he draws contact. That's exactly what I was talking about. You can't foul there if you're Morgan. Foul called at number five, Brandon Morgan. 
And even more importantly, if you're a Harkham, you know, five seconds came off the clock. That's it. So this is right where you want to be if you're Harkham. You want to extend this game and you want to get points on the board with the clock stop. That's an added bonus and a early Christmas gift courtesy of Harkham. Nick Jones hit just one out of two. He could have tied the game yesterday against Brunswick, but missed the second one. Oh, that's going to be a lane violation. Is it on Harkham? It's going to be on Harkham as a lot. I'm not quite sure what lot was thinking there. So it remains a two possession game. Again, Harkham in the press. Inbound to Harris. Harris cross court to Scott, and Scott is wrapped up. So sincere Scott going back to the line. He's got 17 points here in this one. Santos in for offense. Sincere Scott now with 19 here today. So now, well, you know, 20 seconds. Got to start thinking about threes if you're Harkham. Lots hit a couple here in the second half. Misses that one. Morgan is fouled. So Brandon Morgan, who has 13 points, if he gets one out of two, this baby is all wrapped up for Caldwell. What a win it would be for the Cobras. This is a Cobras team that has had a fast start. The other two Region 10 teams that are here and maybe some other Region 10 teams who are looking in, uh, take notice because Caldwell's going to be legit this season. They're, they are every year, but uh, this is a deadly looking team. I mean, here's a guy like Morgan. He's got, you know, 15 points, and he's done it so quietly. Campbell for three, can't get it to go. Rebound by Scott. It's poked away, and Santos will lay it up with 1.5. And that will do it. Caldwell wins today 78 to 72. They're 9 and 1. Harkham 13 and 3. We'll be back with game number two. It's Cape Fear and East Georgia.